Folks, you are now watching and about to experience the race for third place. You're about to watch Nashville and Atlanta. Vince Hannity, we're about to see the third place ticket here. This is the ticket for the big show. This is Lady Oshun here. Vince Hannity here, glad to be alongside Lady O. And for each and every one of you tuned in watching the South Central Region Playoffs for 2011, it's my honor and privilege to give you the following five words. Welcome to the next level. Oh, here we go. Buckle up, folks. Wherever you're watching, whether it is at work or in the comfort of your very own home or some bar somewhere, you are about to experience Derby Nation greatness. Get into it. So while we're getting into the action here, we're going to help you meet these ladies who will be skating from the Nashville Music City All-Stars. We have number 11, Jennifer Smith, 13, Leanne Crimes, 13, Double E, Susan, number 10, Union, Jack You Up. 14, Rock Nasty, 1970, Slaya, 308, Bridges and Hoes, 318, Four Leaf Roller, 33, Hilda Beast, 36, Double D, Mollin Monroe, 533, Lady Fury, 99, Slammy U, Harris, M60, Rambo, Sambo, UNO, Stampede, Gonzalez. And Lady O currently on the track in the Municipal Auditorium, the fourth seed in the South Central region, and looking for redemption, Atlanta Roller Girls, Dirty South Derby Girls. It's my honor and privilege to introduce you to them, including 12 a.m., Rebel Yellow, 1428, Demi Gore, 1905, Regretta Garbo, 1932, Belle of the Brawl, 1973, Alas Insane. 1979, The Ruffian. One pound of the Merchant of Menace. Two BFC, can a whoop ass. Too late, it's Wheel and Jennings. Two pound you, Queen Lucia Tifa. 49, Sissy Splasek. Number 850, Bruce Orman. Number 99, No Regrets. And H864, Holicidal. Now, folks at home, you have just had the privilege of meeting um, both teams, but you should know that while the introduction for um, Atlanta was being read uh, here in the house, the Nashville fans were reading the paper. That's how uninterested they were in Nashville. So here in the house, Nashville is about to come out. Um, so that's what the ruckus. Well, I gotta tell you, Lady O, reading the paper doesn't sound terribly belligerent to me, but I gotta tell you, I had to turn up my headset micro monitor because it's already the pre bow introductions and I can't even hear myself think, let alone talk, Lady O. These rafters are dripping with derby goodness here in downtown Kansas City, Missouri. Oh my gosh. What we're gonna do, folks, we're gonna give you, we're gonna try to impart all of the energy and the good hard-hitting gameplay to you right through these microphones, right through your feed where you are so you can experience Derby Holiday, also known as South Central Regional Playoffs 2011 WFTDA. Oh my, this comet's out of control. Indeed. <laughs> Those who may not be familiar with the South Central Region of the WFTDA over the past three to four seasons, this has been a developing huge, fierce rivalry. These teams have faced each other before tonight in no less than five sanctioned bouts over the past few seasons. Atlanta currently leads the all-time series three to two. However, Nashville Roller Girls Music City All-Stars in the blue currently have a two-bout winning streak, including last October 10th, at South Central Region Playoffs for 2010 at Amber Waves of Pain, where Nashville eliminated Atlanta from going to championships in Chicago, Lady O. That's right, and not only that, both of these teams are coming fresh off some butt kickings. Nashville yesterday lost to Texas um, in a huge way, and also Atlanta lost to KC again, two, um, Two bouts that are coming up after this, so definitely stay tuned for that one. But these ladies are ready to fight and ready to prove that they deserve a ticket to Denver. A tale of redemption versus respect 
for the Atlanta Dirty South Derby Girls. It would be redemption. Nothing would be sweeter than to defeat their rivals, the Nashville Roller Girls, Music City All-Stars, and get that all-important trip to Denver for the WFTDA Championships Continental Divide and Conquer for the Nashville Roller Girls, Music City All-Stars. It's plain out respect. They have held the third seed since last year's South Central Regional Playoffs. They went all the way through 2000, quarter four, 2010, quarter one and quarter two of 2011. The victory here tonight would be that respect and that all important ticket to WFTDA Championships, Continental Divide and Conquer in Denver. Continental Divide and Conquer in Denver. Meanwhile, we're gonna bring you right here to the playoffs on this very track because you don't want to miss a thing here. We got a fresh 30 minutes up on the period clock. The jammers are set and ready to go. So if you um if you're watching this jam right now or this jam or the spout rather, know that Nashville is currently in the blue jerseys with the white lettering and Atlanta is now in the red jerseys with the gray lettering. Know this as we go forward in gameplay. Know this, learn it, live <laughs> it, love it. It'll be Rambo Sambo M60, the captain of the Music City All-Stars. She'll be up against the captain of the Dirty, Dirty South Derby Girls. That's one pound of the Merchant of Mess. Merchant of Mess. Blocking crew for the Dirty South Derby Girls towards the back right in front of the jammer line it'll be bella the brawl alas insane regretta garbo and two bfc that's can of whoop ass you just can't stop the crowd nashville in the front holding on to that their stance trying to rile up their their fans that they brought with them again one of the most notorious contingents of fans in all of derby and we haven't even had the first whistle and the yep. Nashville belligerent fans start an <laughs> energy chant, Lady O. And meanwhile, in turn number three, the Tampa Bay Derby Darlings were in the light blue Atlanta jerseys in support of their big sister league, start an ARG chant. We haven't even started, Lady O, and it's we already fired up at Municipal. We haven't started, folks. So I hope you already have that high quality feed because we're gonna give you some high quality derby business. There goes the whistles. No pack will trigger the jammers free. Both jammers looking to go to the outside. Rambo Sambo now trying to put things on the upright. Somebody being signaled for a minor track cut. Coming around, turns one and two, picking up speed. Rambo Sambo to the back of the pack. Merchant the menace midway through. That's right, Rambo looking for that outside denied. Now she's trying to go straight through the middle. Caught up behind the blockers in the front. Two wall held strong by Atlanta. That's gonna be can of whoop ass and as well. That's gonna be 1975. Three, a last insane, but they are going to call off Rambo Sambo for a major track cut power jam, Atlanta. Oh, that's an elbow call right here. She's going to the penalty box for an elbow call. That jammer is gonna sit out. Power Jam, track cut, oh my gosh. Nobody, full two minutes, Vince Hannity. Full two minutes on the very first jam. You can have the whole chair, but you're only gonna need the freaking edge. Oh, delicious. Three wall strong in the front, Nashville accidentally knocks out her own player, looking for the jammer. Cycle for the two wall, can't quite, Lady Fury can't quite hold on. Merchant will clear, and the thumb is out. Grand slam for the Dirty South. Oh, yeah, all five capped on there. Coming up to the back of the pack, coming to a nice halt. Strong defense in the back of the pack by Nashville. Very much a slow stop pack game. Very atypical of a lot of the derby we've seen this weekend, but fierce, fierce four wall up front by Atlanta as Merchant Hits the brakes, now knocked out, turn number three. She is not lead, she cannot go off the jam. Atlanta goes all the way back to turn two, forcing Merchant to expend that much more energy radio. Oh my goodness, this place is electric going all the way to the back. What? Yes. All right, we got three up on the board for Atlanta. None for Nashville in that, woo wee. I hope you buckled up and are ready to take this ride with us. That was two minutes. It's two minutes and I'm already exhausted. Oh boy. 
I love what I do. I love. I hope you love what you're watching. We're glad to have each and every one of you tuned in to WFTDA.com. Still got a chance to go ahead, buy the high quality feed. And if you haven't, why not? Go ahead and do so. Let's get back to the action, Let's Get Leo. back into the action here. Rambo Stambo wearing the Jam Star again for Nashville. Now Rambo Sambo, a pivotal figure in Nashville Roller Girls history. Warrior spirit cutting around the outside of Atlanta's pivot of last insane, and she will get the call as Lee Chandler, Lady O. Oh my goodness, she came on that outside and shook her like a bad habit. Getting back into the action now, finally, Atlanta's jammer is sprung from the pack and eligible to score. Two off, here comes three from Atlanta, holding down the front of that pack. Oh. Pack speed picking up. Boy. Rambo Sambo will engage. Nice block by Queen Lucia Tifa, forcing her to call it off, but that'll go 3-0 for the lady from Nashville. Calls it off from the ground. These ladies have been lining up on the Dr. Hauschka jam line. Dr. Hauschka celebrates the fresh faces of the WFTDA. If you're here in-house, we've been stopping by their booth all weekend, but you can check them out online. Thank you, Dr. Hauschka, the number one booth healer for WFTDA. No pack will spring the jammers free. It'll be number 14 for Nashville. Rock Nasty, a transfer from the Little City Roller Girls in Tennessee. For Atlanta, it'll be number 99. No regrets. Four wall up front for Nashville. Just all over. No regrets. But she owes the money. But out of the darkness and into the light. Number 14, Rock Nasty, Lee Jammer. Oh, my goodness. Nashville has been chewing up that outside line like chocolate chip cookies. Now they're holding the three wall in the front. The Atlanta Jammer still tied up in there on their, her initial pass. Getting denied on every line. She's trying this. Slay up but finally, Atlanta shifts the pack from front to back. So the Atlanta Jammer, no regrets, can get on through. Rock Nasty can start here. This is scoring pass. Meets up with Cannell. Whoop pass. Now a three ball with nice recycling by the Dirty South. And calls it off before Nora can score, Lady O. Great strategy there, eking out, pulling out three here. Nashville gets up on the board. Right now we have six for Nashville, nine for Atlanta, 25-13 on the jam clock left, or on the clock in period play. If you're watching on WFTDA.com, you're seeing some of the best derby in the world. And we also thank one of our sponsors, Derby Supply, the best customer service in the business period. Thanks to Derby Supply for bringing all the 2011 South Central Region playoff action. Very friendly they are, but who is not is Rambo Sambo again, making quick work of that pack, but she picked up a forearm. And a forearm, sole eligibility to obtain the call of Lee Chandler will go on H864 Holocidal for the Dirty South. So far Vince, in this jam, nobody's in the penalty box. Still clean, oh, nope, that's wrong. I apologize, folks. They are in the penalty box and Flaming Lou Harris is about to re-enter the pack. She's standing up. And you have to give credit to this Nashville Music City blocking crew. Only two blockers up until right now, but still holding off Holocidal. Now for the full 50 seconds, by enough time for Nashville Champions to get through, and the thumb is out, grand slam, and we're going the full two minutes, Lady O. Full two minutes. So Atlanta's jammer was not able to pick it up. She picked up a no pass, no penalty call there. Now we have Slay joining the back for Nashville. Rambo Sambo caught herself. She was about to call off the jammer. Realized, oh crap, I'm not lead jammer. I can't do that. I don't know if the refs will assign a minor illegal procedure on that. Didn't quite catch the hand signals. Just because it's bounced so fast and furious, Lady O. It is so fast and furious. Slayla in the pack trying to lay some tags on that jammer. She rolls right off him. Picks up four on the board for Nashville. Up front, it's Marla Monroe, it's Slayer running a great three wall for the Nashville Music City All-Stars. And Holocidal becoming the victim of Holocide by the Nashville Blocking Pack, Lady O. Right now, they're just lining her up in a waterfall and just keep knocking her back. She just can't get past that front wall. Meanwhile, coming up again on that outside. All five on the board here for Nashville. Big, big jam. Nashville will take the lead, go to 20 to nine, and will end on two minutes, but now <laughs> 20 to 12, three points for Holocidal. That's delicious. <laughs> that was delicious.
delicious derby vitality. Nom, 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 nom. And did I mention nom, nom, nom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should get you some. Speaking of get you some, folks, you can keep these for yourself if you are a fan of derby or a student of derby. It has been good strategy play all weekend. Excellent bouts from top to bottom. Take these home. Go to WFTDA.com. Order the DVDs. You'll be so happy that you did. $15 each. If you bought them all individually, it'll be $255. But a special box set, all 17 bout DVDs for $200. So you can see moments like this jam between Nashville and Atlanta. Up front, two wall for Atlanta's chairman to try and beat. That's one pound to the merchant of the mouse, and she gets the call, Lady O. Gets the call. She was weaving through there like a delicate thread and made it here. Right now, Atlanta trying to make a move to the front of the pack, regain control. Nashville ain't trying to hear that. Finally springing Nashville's jammer from the pack now. She is eligible to score as well. Nashville will run up front, going on defense, staying in front of the Atlanta blockers. What you cannot pass, you cannot score. But Merchant of Menace says, that's fine. I'll just turn on the Jets and go to engage. Go to engaging, they will. I hear whistles, that means that's the end of the jam. I see one point up in that last pass for Atlanta and none on the board for Nashville's All-Stars. Indeed, it doesn't matter with this early in the game. If you get 2-0, 3-0, 4-0, 5-0, or 10-0, as long as you keep your opponent with that zero. As long as you keep your opponent with that zero, you are doing something good as far as your defense. Um, it looks like it's on the jam nine. Where the jam star, we have no regrets. Number 99 for Atlanta. And for your Nashville Roller Girls Music City All-Stars in the blue, that's M60 of Rambo Sambo. All right, folks, just so you can get into it, if you are just turning in in the red jerseys with the gray accents, we have Atlanta Dirty South Derby Girls. And in the blue jerseys with the white accents, we have Nashville's Music City All-Stars. Nashville going for a three wall up front, but here comes Queen Lucia Tifa. Can't quite hang on. Rambo Sambo, lead jammer. Getting in lead jammer quick here. Still tangled up right in the back of the pack is the jammer for Atlanta, Merchant of Menace. Oh, they're just laying tags back and forth on her. Breaking her, trying to break her down. Actually, I, I made a mistake here. That's No Regrets, 99. No Regrets, 99 through 4-3 pack currently favoring the ladies from the Music City, but certainly doing excellent work, getting Rambo Sample on through, and just bodies on bodies for Atlanta, and the damage done by Nashville. Um, apparently, Rambo Sambo thought she only pulled four on that. Nope, the rest told her you got all five, just in case you didn't know. Point off for point on for good behavior, as we'll switch off to Rock Nasty, number 14 for Nashville, up against one pound, the Merchant of Menace for Atlanta. See, I jumped the gun there. I knew the merchant was coming up. It is in this jam here with 1936 left in gameplay, 24, 25 on the board for Nashville. Atlanta sitting with 13. Still plenty of derby time to go. Signs up for Sea Rock City, of course. That's for number 14, Rock Nasty, a transfer to the Nashville Roller Girls from Little City Roller Girls in Tennessee. Little City Roller Girls recently coming full-fledged WFTDA member leagues. Little City, we're glad to have you along for the ride as well. So great strategy here. Atlanta just held that back line, sent one st skater up front to get the pack moving. That has caused the Merchant of Menace to get through lead jam for Atlanta. Hopefully the Merchant of Menace looking to turn a tragedy into a comedy of errors against mm -hmm. Nashville as she engages the pack. All four blockers coming in to break up the three blockers. Merchant will engage, passes one, passes two, calls it off. Atlanta just swarming like gangbusters, making their own holes. They definitely worked hard for those three points, Vince. Indeed, early on, both teams working for each and every point they've got up on the board, but certainly working hard for the most powerful video processing solutions in the world. That's Elemental Technologies. Elemental Technologies, we thank you for sponsoring the 2011 WFTDA South Central Region Playoffs. Holicidal wearing the jam star for Atlanta. And they will give her the call just in the nick of time on the outside lane. Clears legally inbounds of all blockers. Yeah, that was questionable. She squeezed that one out, folks, and made it work. Two wall strong in the front from Atlanta. 
Up in front, that's four leaf roller, one red jersey to beat. She will finally get around, completing her initial pass. Bo Jammers now out of the pack. Atlanta in the middle of a scoring pass. Can't quite get back. And get past the front. <laughs> gotta give credit to Susan. No last name necessary. She was a one woman wall of denial, keeping Hollis Idol from getting the full four. No wonder she has no last name, because she needs none. Indeed. <laughs> just to be, <laughs> just to be out there on the track. A name that you'll see quite often tonight, of course, Rambo Sambo M60, Warning the Jam Star for Nashville. Nashville will take the knee to get Rambo Sambo free. Merchant of Menace held up by a three ball towards the back of blue jerseys. A last insane, can't quite hold on. Lead Jam Rambo Sambo. Lead Jam Rambo Sambo. Okay, so Hannity, what we said here is that what Atlanta was going to have to do was neutralize Sambo. That's what was going to have to happen. And if they want to put some big points up here, they're going to have to happen right now. Oh my Whoa! gosh! Good night, bodies just all over, going out through turn number one, but getting right the hell back up. And like, they're going to call somebody off. That's going to be saw a finger point for that's going to be a major on the pivot for Nashville. Excuse me, Mala Moreau, 36 Mala double Moreau. D. Taking a quick derby vacation in the penalty box here. Meanwhile, Five. Merchant of Menace getting through the pack. Atlanta making a move, trying to slow down that front, Vince. But Atlanta can't quite hang on. Excellent balance by Rambo Sambo. Stays upright, stays in balance, and another four points for Nashville. Oh, my. Of course there's a timeout. A timeout on the track from Atlanta. Meanwhile, while we have a timeout from Atlanta, we wanted to take this opportunity to tell you, our listener and viewer, how awesome some of our sponsors are. Our sponsors like Adam Wheels. Adam Wheels is the official wheel of the Women's Flat Track Derby Association. If you didn't know that, get rolling on some Adam Wheels. These ladies go fast. No doubt, Adam Wheels helped him do it. Watching Derby on WFTD.com. It's considered Derby for All, and thanks to Derby for All, experienced Derby skaters getting you the right gear to take it to the next level, just like Nashville and Atlanta are taking it to the next level. Taking it. Speaking of taking it to the next level, Monsters take it to the next level. Monsters like Green Monster Roller Sports. Big shout outs to Quadzilla and the crew. Antics Boots, Reckless Wheels, and Moto Bearings revolutionizing roller derby. One growl at a time. Green Monster Roller Sports. <laughs> Nashville will switch things up a little bit with their jammer rotation. Bring in for the first time this evening, five foot three of Lady Fury head to head with too late of Whelan Jennings for Atlanta in the red. Both jammers now off the line and dancing in the middle of the pack. Nashville is looking to make their way first up there, but ah, still recycled into the back of the pack there. Now the blockers are trying to slow that down. Atlanta is relentless on trying to hold on to the pace of this pack, Vince. Just rolling off, breaking up that three wall that Atlanta has, now a two wall. Desperately hanging on, trying to stop the fury of Lady Fury, trying to set up a bridge to keep more blockers in play. Snowplow, Fly MV hitting the brakes, but still Atlanta hangs on. Lady Fury can't just fight her way just through. One blue jersey to beat for Whelan Jennings, Lady Ho. It is indeed a delicious dance of choreography to watch right now in this pack. What these ladies are doing as far as defense and offense is crazy. Big jammer takeout on that Atlanta jammer senator to the all the way to the back of the pack. Meanwhile, Lady Fury gets lead jam for Nashville. But credit to the Atlanta blocking crew, Lady Fury fought for damn near a full minute to finally get free of the pack. Now Nashville hitting the brakes as Lady Fury will engage Takes a fall coming around turn number two, but gets right the hell back up. <laughs> right the hell back up and right into the derby action here. Trying to squeeze the jammer, take out in the front of the pack. Atlanta's pivot just couldn't make it. Had to let her pass. All five picked up here for Atlanta for Nashville. Well, Bella the Brawl realizes it's ladylike that once that warning signal goes up, you gotta let the jammer on by. Out of play penalties, the bane of foremost blockers all throughout the Derby world. And here comes Lady Fury one more time. This is exactly what Atlanta did not need is to find themselves in a power jam situation because Nashville definitely 
is going to capitalize on it. Pulling out four more points before calling it off in that last pass. And with their final bout of the weekend, Nashville with no hesitation whatsoever with running M60 Rambo Sambo into the ground at Jammer. <laughs> but at the way she's going, she's not going to run into the ground until maybe, oh, I don't know, Tuesday, Wednesday. You know, you know that's that's what the, the look has been for Nashville. Everyone knows Rambo Sambo is, is an excellent jammer, and she can get the job done. That's the choice they're making here. Back into the action on the track. Great job in the front of the pack of Atlanta trying to outrun Nashville. Here they come hot on their heels trying to poke some holes in that front line, Vince. One red jersey to beat gets around the future mayor of Atlanta, Demi Gore, Rambo Sambo, lead jammer Nashville. Pack disadvantage right now to the penalty box for Atlanta. And final, oh no, another either major or fourth minor oh on the Atlanta gosh. Jammer. The wheels metaphorically falling off of the Dirty South Derby Girls early, Lady L. Tightening the noose that is called the penalty that will bane, be a bane to your existence. Meanwhile, Rambo Sambo floating around the track. Atlanta doing their best penalty kill here. Trying to keep her from storing points. Ruffian trying to hang out. Here comes Demi Gore, but they're more than 20 feet away as a nice trap play laid out on Canna Whoopass, shifting the pack and putting Demi and Ruffian out of play. Sambo slowing down to a crawl, not trying to get that back block call right here. Looking for her line, continuing to work. She doesn't slow down until she gets through. What? Oh my gosh. Number 11, Jennifer Smith, the pivot, splitting the uprights between Canna and Ruffian gets through. Atlanta trying to use greater force against itself, but Rambo Sambo now a force of nature. I'm not sure she can be stopped by the army, Lady O. Absolutely not. That was an excellent hit put on her by 1428, but she rolled right off of it, picking up all five here. It's like she's got a truck grill on her face. Hanging on, hanging on, tries to call it off. She will avoid. A track cut and gets three more points for the Music City All-Stars. Right. So when I said order these DVDs, I meant it, folks. So if you want to see an excellent example of how a jammer gets themselves through the pack, study at the school of Rambo Sambo. Rambo Sambo, a force to help Nashville beat Atlanta to go to WFTDA championships in 2011. If things continue to progress like they are right now, maybe the force that gets them there this year to Denver. And while we've got a moment, a quick acknowledgement to our brothers on the microphone, Dr. Gonzo and Sweet Willie Teabag. We know you wanted to be here. We're sorry that we can't have you here with us, but we know you're watching out there on WFTDA.com like all of you watching on WFTDA.com. Lady O! Oh, back into the action here. Nashville picking up the lead jam advantage to call this mother off. Oh, still tied up in the pack, though, is Merchant of Menace, working on her initial pass here, Vince. Just absolutely swarming the jammer without concern for opposing Atlanta blockers. It's Slayla. It's Susan now trying to run a trap play on Bridges and Hoes. No pack signal by the officials. So finally, the Dirty South jammer will get on through. All right, so I see some hands going, trying to look at the call here. But it was a minor, whatever it was. I believe it was a low block. Minor that's blocking out of bounds. Out of bounds. Regardless, yep. that will be number 318, Four Leaf Roller, calling it off, getting a high five by her bench coach. And Nashville just keeps on rolling, 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 Lady O. They are definitely taking advantage of some basic key things. Some key things like not getting their jammer in the penalty box and having their jammer out there. Not only having their jammer out there, but continuously working when they are pulling lead jam status, putting up big points. That'll win you some derby anytime, but still lots of time left. Lots of game to go. 9.46 left in gameplay, Vince. Well, Atlanta's going to watch out for these penalty situations. They're starting off initially in a 4-2 pack disadvantage. Now 4-3, now that Canada Whoopass is back out of the penalty box. But here comes I, if I saw that correctly, coming around turns three and turns number four, that is 36 double D, Mala Monroe, two all up front with Demi Gore, a second blocker, I believe that may be the ruffian coming out around and knocking her out of bounds. Nice blocking job by the future mayor of Atlanta, Demi Gore, 
Nice blocking. Atlanta two all strong in the front. They are relentless. Uh, just I, trading hits on her right now. I stand corrected. That's actually not the ruffian. That's H864 Hala Seidel. But regardless, Lee Jared, no question on that. That's 36 double D of Mala Monroe for Nashville. Getting ever into the action on the pack. Nashville trying to make a move and control the speed, slowing it down a little bit here. Atlanta still working that two wall though. Gaining front position, Vince. Well, Atlanta's trying to match speed for Nashville speed, and that's playing into what Nashville's doing. Going for the trap play, shifting the emphasis from the front to the back, and putting Demi and putting the rest of the foremost blockers out of play. Like the first law of the Varda says, use greater force against itself. That's right. We've seen a lot of great adaptation as far as strategy and, and teams being able to move on their feet and think quickly when it comes to trying to neutralize plays. Meanwhile, we have Atlanta coming around with five points coming out of the pack on that last pass. And just to break, the Dirty South may have needed Mala Monroe going to the box for a major back block, tries to call it off, but the Jam Ref says no. Major penalty before the call. Guess what? Go to the box. And guess what? Thumb is out. Grand slam for the Dirty South, number 99, no regrets. That's right. And the last insane 1973 taking a trip to the penalty box out there. Meanwhile, virtually untouched Ow. like a stinky toddler. <laughs> Five points for Atlanta. Yay. Finally, the tide starting to turn in Kansas City, just like in Las Vegas. Your luck can change just like that. That's one of the amazing things about Derby. I mean, it speaks to the sport of Derby and just being able to be a part of it and watch the evolution. Every year, tournament play is only getting better. You see teams coming out of the gate only six months in Wuftada. Folks like No Coast, uh, Gold Coast making their first show up here at tournaments. It's amazing. Meanwhile, back to this game, though. Merchant of Menace on a power jam. 3-3 three, three pack. No advantage either team. Three balls still in play, but Merchant trying to power away pass through. But I think it's number 14, Rock Nasty. A pivot with a great, great block out of bounds. Forcing Merchant to go back, 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 back and re-enter. In the process, Merchant almost taking out a ref. That two wall in the front oh. from Nashville. Oh my gosh. Just Look at the footwork. Pinballing her. It is delicious. Am I watching Fame or am I watching Roller Derby? Oh my goodness. Atlanta gets lead jam here. Well, you want to be Fame? You want to go to championships? Well, Fame <laughs> costs. And you better start paying through pain and sweat. That's right. Right here is where you start paying right on this very track big jams oh <laughs> both sides merchant getting three but out of the darkness into the light mala monroe coming back out of the box and getting four for the music city all-stars wow it's like a slap fight with skates on <laughs> <laughs> it's so great <laughs> that you just get to watch it aren't you happy that you get to watch this with us this is amazing stuff folks so i hope you're having as good a time watching this as we are bringing it to you 555 up on the clock 70 for nashville 37 atlanta vince lady oh the sign of a great derby battle is when you look at the period clock and realize there's barely no time left in the period clock i just looked at the period clock we're under six minutes and i can't believe that we've already had about 25 minutes of derby go right by us just like that fly by that's ex as exciting as the play has been sambo coming through the pack Seeing how many points she's going to get, there's one back, so she only gets four calls off the jam. Speaking of flying on by, Rambo Sambo just flying on by in the time it took us to say that. <laughs> flying on by and what helps these lady, ladies go fast and supports them are wonderful things and companies like Fast Girl Skates. Fast Girl Skates is the industry's pioneer in boot sizing and configuration for women's feet. Thank you, Fast Girl Skates, for being awesome. And no doubt many of these skaters you're seeing on the track are sponsored by Rydell Skates. Rydell Skates, the proud partner and the official skate of the WFTDA. Coming on around, Pat keeping a tight formation, spreading out just a little bit in the outside, straight away slowing down, coming around turns three and four. That's going to be 14-28, future mayor of Atlanta, Demi Gore, but you can't hang on. And that's going to be, if I see correctly, number 318 for Nashville for Leaf Roller Lee Jammer. That's right. Can a whoop ass taking a trip to the penalty box? So Atlanta is now at a pack disadvantage. Nashville working with a full contingent of skaters. 
Atlanta trying to hold on to that three wall in the pack, bouncing that jammer around, sending her to recycle all the way in the back of the pack there, Vince. But now the two wall with Hilda Beast and Susan, only one name needed for the fierce and furious nature. Demi Gore hanging on, but gets knocked out of bounds, has to go back, 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 and re-enter. Making her work hard for the money. If you want the dollar, dollar bills, y'all, you gotta make it happen. Gonna make it happen at the back of the pack, 1905, 1973, slowing down Four Leaf Roller. Here comes Demi Gore, and just in the nick of time, Four Leaf Roller calls it off. Speaking of making it happen, you have to try to get your jammer through the pack or it is not gonna happen. One thing Nashville has been excellent, Nashville has been excellent at doing in the last couple of jams consistently is getting their jammer out and getting her out first. Um, so as we start to wind down this time, we will. I would be interested to hear these halftime speeches. Vince. Well, I, I think, Lydia, you probably hit the nail on the head. No doubt, the Dirty South Derby girls at the half are going to say transitions. We have to work on the transitions. Yep. One, stopping the Nashville jammer, and then two, getting our own jammer through the pack. Nashville just swarming the Atlanta jammers on the transitions, and that's how we're getting things like repeat performance here. Right, Rambo Sambo coming out of that pack, looking for the call, stretched her past the 20 feet. She got it, sending that pivot from Atlanta. Lead jam, Nashville. Finally clear of the pack. That will be the Dirty South Derby Girls H864 Holocidal, recent addition to the Dirty South Derby Girls All-Stars. But the way Nashville's going at this point, she's still got an uphill battle against them. Still got an uphill battle. Atlanta working that two wall, trying to maintain that pack speed. Atlanta, or Nashville again, just swarming on them. Four more points on the board. Nashville here, zero on the board for Atlanta in this pass. Lady Fury coming on out to the jam line. She will go head to head with. Homicidal for Atlanta. Again, folks, if you're just joining us, Atlanta is in the red jerseys with the gray accents and blue jerseys, white accents belong to Nashville. Music City All-Stars. Nashville will start things off with a, what was a 2-3 pack advantage, now a 1-3 pack advantage. The Nashville pivot on the track had a pivot cover. I think they already had the pivot in the box, so I think it's going to be a major for a legal procedure. You can only have one pivot to be fielded on the track at any given time, so no pack and lead. That's well, right. You got to pay attention to those penalties. Those tr things like that will trip you up every time, Vince. Meanwhile, the finger of power goes to Nashville right now in the lead jam status. Lady Fury can't quite hang on. Slips out, gets right back in, coming out of turn number two. Finds the inside lane, though, two all up front for Atlanta. Splits the uprights and will clear. Lady Fury just made that look easy, coming right down the middle. She gets all five for, for Nashville here. Now Atlanta trying to set up with now a three wall up front, finally clearing the inside lane for their jammer. That's her initial pass. It's been over a minute, Lady O. It has been over a minute. They've been doing a great job of containment. And again, getting their jammer through, putting up big points every time they have the opportunity to get, to get lead jam. And Lady O, once again, you called it the transition game, and particularly on that last scoring pass. I'm not quite sure what was up with the Dirty South Derby girls, but left that inside lane wide open for Lady Fury and Derby 101 says you never ever leave that inside lane that wide open. That's right I see on the bench here some frustration on Atlanta's bench timeout oh timeout Atlanta ironically here. This will be their second team timeout of the bout Atlanta playing with fire a little bit if it's a close enough game you want to keep one if not two timeouts towards the end of the bout in the second half we've seen so many teams do it to great effect all throughout this weekend, Lady O. That's right, you gotta hold, Atlanta's gonna have to buck down and have to focus here, stay out of the penalty box and keep out of penalty trouble um, and do some of those, as you said, textbook things that we talked about in the top, in the top of this bout. But speaking of good derby and good gameplay, Five Stride Skate Shop, the preferred shop of Bonnie Thunders, Deranged, Psycho Babble, Susie Hot Rod, and Teflon Donna. Five Stride Skate Shop, simply amazing. 
I've been wearing my Five Stride Skate Shop sweatshirt this weekend, enjoying it, um, because it's kind of chilly here in the evenings in, in Kansas City. <laughs> Just a little bit there. Just a little bit. Um, but that's what a lot of fabulous Derby merchandise is for. Um, speaking of Derby merchandise, you can also check out folks that help support us, like Derby for All, experienced Derby skaters getting you the right gear and taking you to the next level. Because you can be an excellent skater, but if you don't have the right gear, it won't quite happen for you. So check out Derby for All to get yourselves hooked up correctly. And I think we've converted from a team timeout to an official timeout. We'll see if we can get word from our announcer referee to clear things up while we've got a little more time. Amazing things. Thanks to Merch Mama with these swag to the Derby Nation and some of the best customer service out there for women's flat track roller derby. And thanks as well to Derby Life. Customized nutrition programs and coaching put more life in your game. And the reason why we're sitting here so long in a timeout is because they want to make sure that things are officially official. Um, there were a lot of smacks. And when there are a lot of smacks, you need a lot of Dr. Hauschka. Dr. Hauschka is the official bruise healer of the WFTDA. Lose the bruise with Dr. Hauschka products. It rhymes with Ouchka. Thank goodness for Dr. Hauschka, a huge sponsor this year for the WFTDA Big Five playoff action, as well as all the WFTDA Big Five playoff action in 2010. We're glad to have Dr. Hauschka along for the ride. Yeah, and it's kind of, you know, it's really cool that we have sponsors um, that do amazing things and support us so much um, because it's what makes Derby Nation run. But the best thing is that, Vince, the stuff is actually good. Like, it's really good. I can find nothing further to add. That's, a, that's the perfect slogan right there. Not only is it good, it's really good. Like KC Barbecue, it's just good. <laughs> We've had a great time here this weekend, folks. We are winding down. I hope you have been lucky enough to be with us from beginning to end, starting with awesome bouts and great gameplay on Friday. We had amazing things happen there to continue um, the 2011 South Central Regional Playoffs. WFTDA tournament gameplay has been amazing beginning with Easterns going to Westerns now at South Central's. I did hear the voice of God. I apologize for talking over the voice of God. That has definitely happened before, Vince. Well, it's the voice of God, but he likes to play head referee sometimes here for <laughs> WFTDA playoff action. Yeah. We'll try and get with our announcer refs a little bit further update. Meantime, Rambo Sambo once again for Nashville. Here comes Susan up front, clears the inside lane, lead jammer Nashville. Lead jammer Nashville. Meanwhile, Atlanta's jammer still tied up in that pack right now, working on her first pass. But she, she's just being denied. Again, Nashville is holding on to that wall of three strong, keeping her back there. Meanwhile, one more scoring pass for Rambo Sambo. She picks up all five on that inside line, Vince. Indeed, HYFJ, help your friendly jammer. The key to the transition game, Nashville's been doing it quite well this bout. And Atlanta, as we talked about earlier, still not quite up on the transition game, but up and clear through the pack. And calling it off for another four points. That's Rambo Sambo. That's right. It's singing like a textbook. The blockers are making the blockers are making the holes for the jammer. The jammer is finding a hole and getting through there consistently every time. So, folks, we're about to go to halftime here right now. Nashville is at 99. Atlanta 37. Vince. Once again, a tale of redemption versus ah. respect. Nashville looking for the respect to show that their third place ranking throughout 2010 and 2011, no fluke. Atlanta looking for redemption, losing at 2010 South Central Region playoffs to Nashville, being denied a chance to WFTDA championships. 30 down, 30 to go. Don't you dare tune out. I'm Vince Hannity. Alongside me is the amazing Awesome announcing Orisha, Lady Oshun. Lady Oshun here, ready to bring you some more of what you're loving. Nashville on the board at 99, Atlanta 37 at halftime. We already talked about some of the things that Atlanta was going to have to do to put some points up on the board, Vince. I had a chance to walk by the locker room where the Dirty South Derby girls were. It was very, very serious. 
very stern faces. I know if I'm the Atlanta Dirty South Derby Girls coach, I'm saying transition game, transition game. Oh, and by the way, did I mention transition game? Because that's what's killing us right now. That's right, transition game, and they're going to have to stay focused and keep out of penalty trouble. They've given up a couple, a, a, a lot of power jams, and Nashville has been able to capitalize on those and put big points up on the board in those jams. We can sort of see the white penalty board a little bit in the distance in center track from where we're up here on the mezzanine. I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, possibly as many as six or seven Atlanta Roller Girls with at least two trips to the box. Not quite a huge concern as far as penalty trouble going into the second half, but something showing that Nashville's doing a lot of great pack work, forcing jammers and blockers off the track so they get the advantage, Lady O. That's right. They are uh, they are doing that so they're, to keep on that momentum um, and to be able to quelch those points. The thing is, Nashville has just been really consistent. Consistent in getting their jammer out first and consistent when having the, uh, the advantage of lead jammer um, putting up big points when that happens. Well, you talked about consistency. They've also been consistent in the rankings for the past year right up at that third spot. 30 down, 30 to go. And if Nashville can, can keep it consistent, through the second half, they just bought their ticket to Denver, Lady O. Cha-ching, here we go, the Rissles are blowing. Rambo Sambo on the line for Nashville, Merchant of Menace, wearing the Jam Star for Atlanta. So tight with the pack, you can't even squeeze an electron through there, desperately fighting for position. That's Queen Lucia Tifa forcing Rambo Sambo out. Rambo going inside, outside, now taking a step back, step up front, but Queen Lucia Tifa, the veteran for the Dirty South, saying, no, you don't. Not today, not on my watch, but Rambo Sambo finds that line on that outside and gets lead jam for Nashville. But she clearly had to go to the outside because that one woman wall of denial with Queen Lucia Tifa definitely pounding, like the number says, to pound you on Rambo Sambo. That's right. Nashville having to watch themselves here, almost extended out too far, kept taking it back to that pack. Sambo coming up, picks three, four off actually, Ooh. and calls off that jam. And right off the bat, the Music City All-Stars breaking the century mark. We'll switch things for the second jam already up on the line. It's H864 for the Dirty South. That's Holocidal and a full contingent of blockers for Nashville in the blue right up on the line, Lady O. Right up on the line, making her work for that pass. Atlanta starting with four up front. And it looks like we have the whistle. And all ladies are off and running here. Atlanta slowly clearing the pivot line, trying to hit the brakes, maybe force Nashville speed advantage out, but they're gonna say that they're out of play and they're gonna call wow. a major out of play. And I believe that's number 1428, Demi Gore. Demi Gore doing her best Fred Willard impersonation saying, hey, what happened? Ouch, that's a tough hit. Two blockers being sent to the penalty box on that one. The jammer from Atlanta finally sprung Holocidal from the pack. That second blocker for Atlanta in the box is 1905. Regretta Garbo. Cham will be called. We've scored less for both teams, but power pack situation for Nashville. Right, 27 54 left in play here. Merchant of Menace wearing the star again on the line for Atlanta. She'll be up against number 14, Rock Nasty. And we'll have timeout. Currently, a what appeared to be a team timeout, and that's going to be credited to. But I'm not sure who it's credit to. Our time, jam timer is showing the sign for a team timeout, but we have captains for both teams in the center track, or at least for Nashville, so this may be converted to an official review, official timeout. Okay. Not surprising that we've had to have um, so many official reviews because there have been a lot of hits, a lot of things going on. Um, since there's been so many things going on, we have to have amazing people supporting us. So thank you to our tournament par partners, folks like Union Vacations, Protect Dent Mouth Guards, Skate Court, and Jules Doyle Photography. Thank you for being our tournament partners for the 2011 South Central Regional Playoffs. Jules Doyle Photography, better known in the Derby world as Axel, Axel Adams, Adams, has his new Derby book out here. One of our sistren on the microphone, Spider, got the book. Is having several Derby photographers, Derby skaters, 
Derby announcers, Derby officials signing off on the book, autographing each photo they have on each page. It's a thick book. It's a beautiful book. Axel Adams, we've seen his work over the years. It's incredible, incredible work. If you can find it online, go ahead and buy a copy. It's pretty. It is so, so pretty. It is pretty, and it's really cool because if you are a, a fan of Derby, when you look at this book, it makes you think, oh, I remember when that happened, or oh, I remember when I was there. So we have people leaving the track. All right, we have an official taking a mic here. We're going to find out stuff. So it's confirmed by the disembodied voice of God that was an official review by Nashville. Concerned about the points, the officials say, no, we like the score. We think we got it right. It's going to stand right as it is. That's at least one official review by Nashville. Gone. Score stands. So that is the official, second official review that we've had of the night so far. Meanwhile, getting back into the action here. Rock Nasty gets through, picks up lead jam for Nashville. With a 3-3 pack with Rambo Sambo getting her intentional fourth minor to clear things out so she can get back on the jammer star. Rock Nasty making it look easy with that 3-3 pack with number 99, Slammy Lou Harris, 11, Jennifer Smith, and the third blocker again, just now no longer swarming the jammer, swarming the blocker, getting huge, huge lanes for Rock Nasty, who will clear, call it off, four more points. Rock Nasty, of course, the transfer from Little City Roller Girls in Tennessee. Little City Roller Girls, a recent addition to the WFTDA, and we're glad to have them along for the ride, as well as having each and every one of you watching here on WFTDA.com. Mm-hmm. Holicidal wearing the jam star for Atlanta. Again, if you were just joining us and you do not know, now you know Atlanta is in the red jersey with the gray accent, and Nashville is wearing the blue jerseys with the white accents on them, and all ladies are off and rolling here. Both jammers engage in the pack, still working on their first pass. Queen Lucia Tifa up front for Atlanta, all up in the area of number 318, Four Leaf Roller, who stops skipping a jump inside. Lead jam call, Four Leaf Roller, Nashville. Queen Lucia Tifa was definitely making her work hard for that one. Meanwhile, the jammer from Atlanta, Hollis Idol, is still tied up in the pack, looking for her pass. She gets it, finally sprung and eligible to score. Now a 4-3 pack still favoring at, excuse me, favoring Nashville. Four Leaf Roller moves to engage, splitting. Now just trying to get around the inside of Queen Lucia Tifa. But Lady O, you might have an easier time trying to contain the wind. <laughs> you never know which way the wind will blow as the tide can change at any turn. Nashville well over the century mark sitting at 110. Atlanta, 37 points up on the board, 25 36 left in play here. We have uh, number 20, 28, I believe, FC, Canna Whoopass from the Dirty South Derby Girls in the penalty box starting this one for Atlanta. Merchant of Menace back on the line wearing the Jam Star. Nashville's rear blocking wall turning this into a Shakespearean tragedy for Merchant of Menace as Rock Nasty will clear and get the call of lead jammer. No doubt, huge assist by number 13, Double E, Susan, and number 11, Jennifer Smith, up front, Lady O. Huge assist. Nashville has been great at playing the game of let's go friggin' get her and get her through the pack. That's exactly what you're watching happen right now. Sneaking up on that inside line, doesn't find it there, switching off to the outside. Still tied up behind the last lone Atlanta blocker and she gets all five five more points on the board for nashville the out of play 20 foot rule the bane of foremost blockers everywhere rock nasty clear and here she comes one more time lady o yep coming right back in like a shot in the dark taken out queen loser teeth in the back there oh no that was not Two. Oh, yes, it was that end of the jam. <laughs> Two more points for Rock Nasty, the shot in the dark. And like Ozzy said, apparently, to paraphrase Ozzy, apparently not a thing that Atlanta can do right now. Not a thing that Atlanta can do, but they're still putting up a hard fight, just having, again, having trouble at neutralizing that jammer from Nashville. Again, Rambo Sambo taking the line for Nashville. 
Atlanta's gonna rotate things up. They're gonna give it to 850. Bruce Orman for the jam. Three blockers on the inside lane. Now shifting outside for Nashville to slow down Bruce. One blue jersey on the beat. Nice recycle job. All right, Vince, maybe I spoke too soon because right now Atlanta has a very strong three wall in the back containing Sambo, landing and trading hits on her. Here comes Atlanta dropping back, trying to poke some holes and get that jammer through on that assist. Tough break is 14-28. Demi Gore goes to the box and once again, lead jammer M60, Rambo Sambo. Da -da -da -da. Coming around out of turn one, folks. Strong two wall in the back held down by Atlanta. Trying to take Rambo Sambo to task. Now joined three wall Atlanta pushing bodies around into her water falling. Again, here comes Nashville to come and get her. And pulls just, out four. And just watch the Nashville pack work, particularly as they were coming around the back half of that jam. They always instinctively, when the jammer comes with the scoring pass, go for the inside lane to clear the Atlanta blockers out. Get that inside lane to come on through Excellent, excellent strategy by the Music City All-Stars. Excellent strategy and excellent, like you, uh, like you said, excellent pack awareness. Just their precision and the way that they work together is amazing to see them. And it's definitely proving itself in the score. 121 Nashville, 37 Atlanta, 22-26 left in play here. And now Power Pack will go 4-2 advantage for Nashville. Four leaf roller being blocked out by Merchant of Menace, but getting about midway through. Pack speed picking way the heck up. Picking way up right now. Atlanta in the front, lone blocker. Can't contain her. Doesn't want to get that 20 foot call. Lee Jam goes to Nashville. Well, as they say sometimes, discretion is the better part of valor. Come on back, live the fight for the next scoring pass. Two all up front for Nashville with Susan and Rock Nasty. Here comes Bell of the Brawl to try and break things up. Merchant of Men is still tangled up in that pack. Having to work here. And that's going to be Bell the Brawl, a major blocking out of play, and the thumb is out. Grand slam for number 3184 Leaf Roller. 1973, Alice Insane, Alice Insane trying to come back and help relieve some of that pressure and take the screws to Sambo, but she just can't make it happen here. Good non-call by the officials. Alas, insane, hitting the booty block, hitting the brakes. Of course, the officials now recognize that it was the blocker initiating the block. Even if the blocker goes down, that is not the reason why there is a back blocking call. So good non-call by the officials on that one. Good non-call by the officials. Number 3184, Leaf Roller still going through, and she calls off the jam for Nashville. Good old Four Leaf. Letting folks know she's done. I'm done scoring my points now. Well, Four Leaf's certainly been a good luck charm for the Music City All-Stars so far in the bout as they're about, or they're dangerously close to going up by 100 points with just under 10 minutes gone in the second half, Lady O. You know what else is a good luck charm? Making your hiney shiny. And the only folks that I know that can make your hiney shiny are the folks at Derby Skins. Much love to Derby Skins for supporting the 2011 South Central Regional Playoffs. Gotta love those skins. Now what happened, you saw towards the back, number 1970, Slayla from Nashville coming in. She had finished her penalty, but apparently took the knee, and I believe she got a minor illegal procedure for, I'm not quite sure the reason why, but because she's the blocker, it wasn't because she was just coming in late onto the track. Otherwise, she'd have been waved off and said, Nashville, you got to skate short for this jam. That's right. Getting it back into the action here. We have Holicidal approaching the back of the pack, looking for her hole on that inside. Nashville jammer takeout. She calls it from the ground. Holicidal's like, all right, y'all see me over here? I'm calling it off. Lady Fury going for the lasso of Fury coming around as Holicidal calls it <laughs> off. Sitting on the bench, a little bit of frustration, no doubt, as both teams will reset for the next jam. You can definitely, from, from our vantage point, folks, you can definitely see the moods on the bench. Atlanta um, definitely struggling to try to keep it together here right now. 19-13 um, left in gameplay, still a lot of time to third, turn things around, but it's gonna have to happen. It's gonna have to happen and right here. And they're, like, yep, there's the call for the minor illegal procedure on the jammer for Atlanta, number 850. That is Bruce Orman, 
She will have to yield, which I believe she did. And coming through the pack, that will be Nashville. There's a no pass, no penalty, so she is not eligible to get the call of Lee Jammer. That means Lee Jam is still up for grabs. Here comes Nashville creeping their way into the front, locking up that two wall in the front. Rock Nasty at the helm and company. Coming up easily on that outside, five more points like taking candy from a baby from Nashville. Well, that's certainly what the Nashville pack seems to be doing to the Atlanta Jammers at this point as Bruce Orman getting a nice little welcome to Nashville and Kansas City. Welcome to Nashville and Kansas City. And the other thing is, Vince, I think you're also starting to see the fatigue as far as the skaters. There's been a lot of play this weekend and a lot of hard-fought derby bouts. Meanwhile, right on around another five points up for Nashville here. Lady I can't remember the last time that I saw a non Lee Jam double grand slam. Nashville Jammers already pulled that off, about to clear one more time. Look at the footwork. Oh! Oh my goodness. They're going to call that incidental contact. Good no call, but Rambo Sambo again, a third grand slam. And Atlanta's Jammer still trapped. Not even trapped in the pack, in the penalty box. In Power penalty jam. Box. Again, as we said earlier, some penalty box trouble, specifically that penalty where they're, the Atlanta Jammer was in the penalty box, not out there, able to score points. And Nashville took advantage of that situation by going around and doing exactly what they're doing now, chasing the unicorn, Vince. Chasing the unicorn, chasing the dragon, chasing whatever mythical beast. No doubt Nashville chasing down higher and higher scores as that jam will end on two. And another four points for the captain of the Music City All-Stars. Rambo said I was like, uh, five. <laughs> five, please. Over here. Right here. Right here. Almost reminds me of the kid in class when they got the 98 said, I want 100. I want 100. I want 100. That is right. Oh my goodness. All right, so number 318, four leaf roller back on the line for Nashville. We got a timeout from the officials on the track. And when the officials show us their guns, we tell you how much we want to give hugs to folks like Merch Mama, supplying swag to the Derby Nation. Thanks, Merch Mama, for doing amazing things. Thanks as well to Roller Girl Skates. Whether you're watching online or for whatever crazy reason, if you're here watching online in Municipal Auditorium, look for Trigger in the crowd to sign up for a free set of wheels from RollerGirlSkates.com. If you can't find Trigger, just go to RollerGirlSkates.com anyways and see all the great Derby merchandise they've got on sale to help you be the faster official and the faster Roller Girl. And Vince, as a person who, much like these ladies out here on this track, occasionally has been known to smack other women in the face in a gameplay situation, I appreciate people like Dr. Hauschka, the number one bruise healer and official bruise healer for WFTDA. So right now, folks, it looks like we got the head ref with a mic in his hand. There's a problem with the whiteboard. Okay, there was a penalty reconciliation involving the whiteboard. So, um, folks, if you um, are derby nerding right now, you can uh, follow your rules at home. <laughs> as long as you get a copy of our home game, feel free to join <laughs> along right. with the reconciliation. <laughs> All right, meanwhile, while we're reconciling, Nashville is not your lead dammer, but Atlanta is. Bruce Orman, we've seen her out there yet again. Or excuse me, I stand corrected. I'm going to apologize for all our Atlanta fans who are no doubt about ready to kill me and prevent me from going to Georgia ever again. Bruce Lee Orman, we do apologize. Bruce E. Excuse me, Bruce E. Orman, okay. If you would like to help us and sponsor and get us a pronunciation skater guide for the 2012 WFTDA region playoffs, we'd be happy to have you, and please contact us through WFTDA.com. Lady Ho, back to the action. <laughs> nice. <laughs> awesome. Back into the action on the track here. Lady Fury oh. looking for her holes here and making her own and taking some bodies with her in the process. Meanwhile, no regrets. Moving up to the front of the line, she just pushes her out of the way to get out of the pack. 
And Lady Fury <laughs> loses her jam rep. Jam rep completely not looking. Finally says, oh, crap, she's lead jam rep. I better get the finger of power You know there. what? There's so much going on right now. Uh, even a jam ref can get lost in the middle of the pack. Right now, Atlanta, two wall in the front of the pack, holding it down strong. Meanwhile, Demi Gore lands some hits on Lady Fury. She calls off the jam. No points, Vince. Demi Gore, future mayor of Atlanta, doing quite well as a one-woman wall of denial to force Lady Fury to call it off. And here's Bruzy Orman again. I'm, I'm not sure what we've got, Lady O, but I've got to imagine there's some sort of significant injury to or fatigue to the Dirty South Derby Girls jammer lineup because we're seeing an awful, awful lot of Bruzy Orman in the second half. Not to discount her skills, to discount her athletic ability, but it just seems like we're seeing her over and over and over and over again. I mean, the same thing as far as Nashville, and again, Rambo Sambo back on the line for them. Three wall in the front, held down by Atlanta. Sambo poking holes and breaking that apart all by her lonesome. Coming on that outside, here comes lead jam for Nashville. Lead jammer Rambo Sambo. Goodness gracious, how many times have we said that <laughs> this power? Exactly. Neither one of these teams um, really mixing up as far as who is jamming for them. Right now, they're both trying to make it work. Sambo approaching the back of the pack, looking for another pass here on that inside. Right now, they're working. She pulls out three before she calls it off. She was trying to corral her blockers because she saw the Atlanta jammer coming on around saying, get up front, get up front, because if they can't pass you, they can't score. Even though we're way up, we want to keep it running like a machine with that machine precision that the Music City All-Stars have, Lady O. That's right. Right now, you're seeing the Atlanta blockers taking a knee. 1973, alas, insane right there in the corner. Hall is idle, wearing the jam star for Atlanta. She'll be up against 318, four leaf roller. What a what a bout she's had this evening, Lady O. That's right. Um, and if you are just joining us, just another shout out so that you're aware Atlanta is in the red jerseys with the gray lettering and Nashville is in the blue jersey with the white lettering on them. Nice and defense by the Nashville pack, forcing out the Atlanta jammer, goes back, back, back. Picks up speed, re-enters, coming around turn number three. Number 13, Double E, Susan, as well as number 10 for Nashville. Union Jack, you up slowing things down for the Dirty Dirty South. Jack, you up doing some great positional blocking in the front of the pack, pushy, pushing that jammer to the back. Holicidal is just looking tired out there. Like, she's just tired of getting hits land, landing on her right now. And I don't blame her. Nashville is working with a nice contingent of blockers. Well, Holicidal is going to get a one-minute respite as she goes into the penalty box and it'll be a power jam nashville exactly what the dirty south didn't need at this point pack work by atlanta finally picking things up going back 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 forcing out four leaf roller pack stretching out like some mythic serpentine beast coming into this one <laughs> getting into the action here four leaf roller still coming out trying different things coming up on the outside then switching to the inside denied at both turns atlanta doing a great job on keeping her back. But she's finally sprung out of that pack here. And can I think, excuse me, Four Leaf Roller just with a slightly smaller statue compared to Canna Whoopass, was just able to get a little bit more lower and just around Canna Whoopass to get on through. Oh, back of the pack, they're gonna call that as a major low block, Ooh. 1905 for the Dirty South. That is where Greta Garbo, yeah, I, I can't blame the officials on that one, Lady O. Yeah, that's right. A trip to the penalty box again. Another body loss out there for the Atlanta contingent. Right now trying to speed up that pack, but it doesn't work. Three points out of the darkness for Nashville. And we're starting to see that whiteboard in center track picking up more and more strikes to the right for the red column, meaning more and more trips to the penalty box as Nashville will run three in the back. Atlanta has three up front as Nashville will jam number 1970, Slayla, up against number 99, No Regrets for Atlanta in the red. And they're signaling for either the Atlanta or Nashville blocker in the box. It's actually a two minute penalty as I see from the inside penalty wranglers. So I don't know if you're able to see what happened there. No Regrets took a jump off the line initially but had to come back because the jam whistle was not blown. Both of the jammers are now engaged in the pack, working hard on a pass. Now they're just landing up Norma in a waterfall from Rock Nasty and company. 
Recycling her to the back of the pack, still working. Merchant and Menace gets a one-two punch from number 99 and pivot for Nashville, Slammy Lou Harris and Slayla. You've got her out on your knees and you've got the call of Lee Jammer. Oh, woo. Meanwhile, the refs are indicating where the pack is. Lean pack right now. More bodies being lost to the penalty backs. Um, the pivot for Atlanta is picking up her fourth minor. That is 1979, the ruffian. Calling off the jam just in time. Nashville was getting their two remaining blockers. Demi Gore as well as I believe that was, yes, Merchant of Menace getting the runaway play, but Nashville, they were just salivating. They were just foaming at the mouth saying, let's speed up, trap to the inside and let our jammer fly right through. All right, Holicidal and Rambo Sambo in this next jam race. 9.29 left in play, 160 Nashville, 38 Atlanta. Coming around turns number one and two in Municipal Lee Jam Call for Nashville once again. That is M60, the captain, Rambo Sambo. Rambo Sambo out there jamming up. Looking for making a move right now as Atlanta trying to come up and slow down the pace of that pack here. Oh no, a, a high block major on HA64 Holocidal Power Jam Nashville. The scariest words you can hear if you're playing Nashville Power Jam, Rambo Sambo. Oh my gosh, Rambo Sambo and Candle Warbass getting into a tangle right there outside to turn three, but she gets on pass, picks up all five of her points. Coming up in the back of the pack, Candle Warbass goes to land one, whiffs on it. Five again, Rambo Sambo, Nashville. Yeah, Queen Lucy Tifa at the back for Atlanta did a nice job, but nice footwork by Rambo Sambo, wide open on the outside only one blocker on there because the two blockers in the penalty box for atlanta one was standing up with less than 10 seconds so the other atlanta blocker was waved on in to start her penalty rambo what <laughs> it was a nice teamwork in the back of the pack queen loser tifa did a push of greta garbo into rambo samba but she just rolled on the outside like th that again it's not it didn't happen. And it's, go it's gonna be the ruffian sent to the penalty box, the pivot for Atlanta. I believe they're calling her for a destruction of the pack. She got, just had that frustration on her face saying, come on, oh, man. Oh man, that time, that one worked. They tried a different side and makes her work all the way into the back. Oh, and I'm surprised they're gonna oh. call destruction on the pack on 1905 for Atlanta. Regretta Garbo because it was Nashville picking up, pulling away the only hypothesis I can make on that is I believe the rule may leave some interpretation oh, wow. as saying that they'll favor the team that keeps going forward, but otherwise, unless there's a provision for that in the rules, with all due respect to our officials who have done a great job so far, Lady O, I'm surprised. If I'm in the striped shirts, I'm calling that one on Nashville. That's right. Um, that's what they're in the huddle right now. We're sitting with an official timeout. While we are taking this official timeout, we just wanted to tell you a couple more things about people who continue to do amazing things. If You know what, Vince? Sometimes when I go home from tournaments, I want to read about what happened. Gameplay, scores, all that kind of stuff. Hot information. You know where I get that hot information from? I get that from 5 on 5 Magazine. 5 on 5 Magazine, one of our tournament partners, and they also have the best in what is happening in the world of derby check them out online spell it out f-i-v-e f-i-v-e o-n f-i-v-e dot com mag five on five mag dot com those derby magazines always being too clever with their urls putting the mag on the end yeah chicanery just, you i tell know, you just wanted to be clear and make sure that that was out there that it's five on five mag dot com and of course, thanks to some of our other tournament partners, including Sin City Skates, Buy New Skates. You can find them on the web at buynewskates.com, as well as Vanilla Skates, Vanilla Derby, Improving the Boot for You, featuring skaters such as Meow Mixio Face Up of the Jacksonville Roller Girls. Thanks to each and every one of those for bringing all this exciting 2011 South Central Region playoff action here from Kansas City and Show Me Derby Q. So they're, they're clapping out here on the track for the tournament officials because this definitely is not an easy job officiating and keeping your eye on everything because there's so much that's going on, as you know. But if you want to catch it all, you have the opportunity to take these DVDs home with you. Go to WFTDA.com and order your very own 
personal copy of the DVDs from this weekend's South Central Regional Playoffs. It has been amazing, Vince, from top to bottom. It has been amazing, and the Atlanta fans rallying in turn number three their younger sisters, the Tampa Bay Derby Darlings, wearing Atlanta's light blue jerseys in support of their big sister league. Some of the other Atlanta roller girl skaters not skating tonight's bout, also in turn three and turn four, going for support. And up on top, there's some of the, what Nashville's matching, with their belligerent fans, not really looking terribly belligerent, but certainly looking very happy, Lady O. They are looking very happy, and um, clapping ecstatically, Everyone is happy in Nashville right now. Slayla on the line, ready to jam. 1970 is her number. We're, it's beyond a power jam at this point. It's an ultra jam. Nashville's got all four blockers. There's only two Atlanta roller girl blockers on the track. They're all alone with the power jam for Slayla. And yes, Vince, they are doing an excellent job out there still in gameplay, but you can clearly tell that there are definitely um, um, fatigue is starting to run into things. Oh, the head ref has the mic. Oh, so there's an insubordination call out there. Somebody was a very, very, very naughty roller girl. And that's one's gonna go on. Number H864 homicidal of the Dirty South Derby Girls and quite literally and figuratively insult to injury, Lady O. Oh my goodness, that's definitely one you do not want. Meanwhile, Salela on the track, trying to work on that outside, stretching that pack. She gets that 20 foot, they gotta let her go. Lee Jam Nashville. Lady O, I've been given some unofficial stats from Big Daddy Denouncer, Dwayne Cunningham. <laughs> I can't believe my eyes. The second half, Nashville on an 88 to one run. But excuse me, now a 93 to one run. Dominance, 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 wow. Absolutely. Nashville is definitely trying to earn their ticket to Continental Divide and Conquer right now, doing and playing some great basic derby. Just sweeping sweeping that track out there, trying to get some more points on that last pass. None in that turn. 190 Nashville, 38 Atlanta. The only South Central team to ever win a championship playoff bout have been the Texas Roller Girls, Texecutioners. But Lady O, if Nashville's going to keep this up, Nashville may finally be team number two at Continental Divide and Conquer on November to remember in Denver. That's right. It's always good to see a change in the tide, and it is also good to see Rock Nasty number 14 on the line jamming for Nashville. The officials say we got to take another break. Another official timeout because watching our jam timer because nobody takes an official timeout higher than Rob Van Dam. Oh, yeah. And no one does skates like Sin City Skates. Shouts out to all the crew at Sin City Skates. You guys are amazing. Check them out online. We love you, Derby Nation, and we love you, Sin City Skates. And clearly some serious pounding with the Dirty South Derby Girls Jammer matchup. Here comes Queen Lucy Tifa taking the jam star. Just incredibly physical towards that rear wall of Nashville. Here comes Rock Nasty. She will clear. Lay jam. Nashville Roller Girls. That's, our, that's right. It's always fun to see blockers take the jam star, and even better to see hits being laid on Canna, by Canna Whoopass in the back of the pack. Now Atlanta moving up, trying to hold on to that wall of two. Front of the pack switch here. I like what Canna and Whelan Jennings are doing. Head on the swivel, watching where that three wall from Nashville is. Stay within play, stay within play. But here comes the pivot for Nashville. Nice block on Whelan. That's Marlon Monroe, 36 double D. Canna whoop ass now being blocked out. Inside lane clear. Nashville calls it off. That was some nice teamwork white right there. Putting that positional block in front of Canna. Keeping her back so she can get through, get her points out. Five minutes and one second. Left in play. Lady O, with yep. my unofficial stats, the highest score by any team in the five prior meetings between Nashville and Atlanta, if I count correctly, has been 132 points, which was scored by Nashville at 2010 South Central Region playoffs when they beat Atlanta by 132 to 73. 
Nashville just shattering that record here tonight with just over four and a half minutes left on the period clock. I love those unofficial stats, Vince, and I also love that Nashville, again, gets lead jam here, coming around, making it look easy. It's Rambo Sambo trying to get past these final two Atlanta blockers. They're out of play. They got to let her go. Still tripping over bodies. Sambo's like, why don't you call something on them? Nashville, come up here. I'm calling off this jam. Rambo Sambo saying, can a jammer get a major out of play penalty, you know please? I mean? Can I get something here? Can I get one? Thank you. <laughs> Just give me something. Do you see me working hard like a part-time job out here? <laughs> Trying to get some points for this team. Team timeout called. Certainly no part-time job by our tournament pops, tournament partners <laughs> who we need to thank, including Spenlin Media. That's S-P-E-N-L-E-N, -E -E Spenlin Media. Union Vacations for the 2011 WFTDA Championship Tournament MVP. They'll be preparing a vacation for the championship MVP. Thanks to Protect Dent Mouth Guards. Thanks to Skate Court, the surface you're seeing here in Kansas City Municipal Auditorium. Thanks, of course, again to Jules Doyle Photography, Axel Adams with his new book on sale on the web and here in Kansas City. Oh boy, there's so much delicious goodness going on in the Municipal Auditorium in Kansas City, Missouri. Folks, again, you are tuned in to Nashville versus Atlanta. Three minutes, 51 seconds. Head referee has the microphone. All right, so Atlanta challenged the out-of-play major. That's what was going on um, in the official official review. A lot of, you know, official reviews. That's why we have them. We appreciate what they do out there. Meanwhile, back out on the track, Slayla wearing the jam star for Nashville. And it all falls on the mighty shoulders of Alas Insane and Demi Gore to slow down Slayla coming on around the mountain. Not quite in time for the Dirty South as Slayla. You've got the lead jam call. Oh, my goodness. Nashville just went up in the front and sat down on her and meanwhile pushed their own jammer through. No pack called right here. Finally on through. Too late. Wheel and Jennings. Numeric, uh, numeric irony, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> It's so much excitement. Sometimes, you know, we get even we get a little tongue tied because there's so much derby awesomeness. Awesomeness. Meanwhile, Slayla calls it off. No points either side in that last jam. Period clock now down to three minutes. I don't mean to demean the Dirty South Derby girls, but realistically, at this point, the only scenario where I see them cutting into this massive Nashville lead is if, by some bizarre way, shape, or form the entirety of the Music City All-Stars team, their entire skeletal structure collapses in upon itself and they're just, a, <laughs> they're just a gelatinous heap on the track. Holly Seidel was trying to enter the track. She entered it too late, clearly oh. frustrated as she goes oh. back to the bench. That's a horrible break for Atlanta. Things like that cannot happen. Meanwhile, on the track, Nashville is taking full advantage. Whoa, like... Almost a major track cut there. I'm not sure if the officials saw something that we didn't see from up here, but they will give the call. The Jammer Rock Nasty, number 14 in Nashville. Rock Nasty right now, three walls strong in the front, held by the Nashville Music City All-Stars. All Jennifer Smith up there blocking as well. That's going to include uh, Lady Fury as well as, if I saw correctly, the Hill the Beast. The Hill the Beast, indeed. Lady Fury looking for that outside line, coming through and find it, finding it. Atlanta trying to lay some hits. Lady Fury coming back and answering the call, taking the heat off of her a little bit. I'm just watching Rock Nasty. She's got the biggest smile on her face saying, yeah, come on, Atlanta. Come on, Rebel Yellow. Bring it on. Big smile. Clears on. A little kiss for the bench there. She passes on by. <laughs> wow. They do a lot of things out there in that pack. Right now, they are working more than effectively. Four in the back right now, held down from Nashville. Oh my goodness, she's coming 
She just hits the back of the pack and can't make it. Brock Nasty quickly making the work on that inside line. Another five points for Nashville. Nashville with the trap play towards the back. Good pack awareness by the Merchant of Menace and Rebel Yellow staying within play. Finally, the last insane back out. We're at full strength, Lady O, outside of no jammer on the track for Atlanta. Outside of no jammer on the track, then we're doing great. Meanwhile, Rock Nasty is, is, is definitely aware of that and it's still working on a scoring pass here. And our de facto two minute power jam concludes. 38 seconds left on the period clock. A timeout. What I believe is the team timeout for Atlanta. All right, so that means we have, um, since there was a timeout call, that means we have time for another jam. Nashville, uh, 211. Atlanta, 38. You can see with Nashville is still very alert in the huddle. They realize they're one jam away from going to Denver. And the body language for the Dirty South Derby girls pretty much says it all right there, ladies and gentlemen. They know they're going out the warrior style. You fight to the bitter, bitter end, but they realize this is pretty much, this is Napoleon at Waterloo right here. That's right. You know what, Vince? Because this is freaking roller derby, and that's what you do. You fight until it's over. You fight until the last jam. Indeed. Because this is a tournament, and these ladies came here to play. So since they came here to play, we came here to tell you about it. And these ladies came here to do it for you. Rambo Sambo wearing the Jam Star for Nashville again. Rambo Sambo will bring it on home. They'll give the Jam Star to the future mayor of Atlanta, number 1428, Demi Gore. Four wall up front. Demi trying to slash and hack her way through the pack. Slashing her way through the pack, coming up on that outside, trying to make herself fold almost in half. Rambo Sambo for Nashville. Atlanta fighting to get up front. Nashville hanging towards the back. Rambo keeping an eye on the period clock. Looking up towards the period clock at the top of the municipal auditorium. Period clock will expire and Rambo will call it off. And ladies and gentlemen, Nashville can book its flight to Denver in November. Oh, yeah. So this one goes to the Nashville Music City All-Stars with a healthy 2-13 versus Atlanta's 38, the Dirty South Derby Girls. The South Central region has been traditionally considered a two-team powerhouse between the Texecutioners and the Kansas City Roller Warriors, but Lady O tonight, if this was any indication, Nashville just threw down the gauntlet and demanded the Derby World take notice. As I said, folks, you should be excited right now because this is yet another indicative change of the things that are to come in Derby Nation. Again, every year teams get better. Gameplay gets fiercer. Teams are better about switching up strategies and adapting. It's only going to go to the sky from here, Vince. It's amazing. It's amazing. Rambo Sambo in the middle of the huddle. She's got the belt. She's saying, we're the champions. We're third place. We're going to Denver. The Dirty South coming around for its consolation lap. But Rambo Sambo wearing that chip belt around her shoulder, just like The Rock and just like Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> Stone Cold Steve Austin. Wow, folks, have you ever seen a game like that in the WFTDA? I have not. Uh, I got the, the team captain, Rambo Sambo here. Slayla is with us also. <laughs> wow. Um, first of all, let's talk about the uh, points that you scored in the second half. The offense was off the charts, over 100 points scored in the second half. Rambo, you uh, took the lion's share of most of them. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I lead. She's our lead jammer. <laughs> I, I should say so. I just, you know, we, we train for it. We practice for it. Um, yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> one point allowed in the second half. One, really? one point. <laughs> one single point allowed in the second half. Yeah. That defense. And that was because of a late call up, I think. So, Jeez. yeah, yeah. What we we wanted to you know, prove what we have because coming out the first day against Tampa, we didn't feel like we maybe played our best game. Yep. So I feel like today we showed what Nashville's made of. For sure, for sure. You played against Atlanta a, a lot of times yeah. in the past. Um, what adjustments, what, what, what preparation resulted in this? 
Um, just, I mean, a season long of, of playing tough teams. I mean, we've had, you know, the fortunate um, opportunity to skate against some really good teams this year. I mean, even at this tournament, Texas was incredible. And, uh, and we've skated against Minnesota, Kansas City, Cincinnati, some really great teams yeah. this year. So we've been training all year for this. Yes. And for the second consecutive year, going to the big show, the 2011 WFTDA Championships in Denver. Hell That's yeah! Right. We'll see you at Champs.